Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here in Bolton. It's the start of a two-week run uh, for yourself, Mr. Kala Sowland. Kala, how are you, mate? Very, very excited. Channel 5 Boxing Week up here in Bolton, live on Channel 5, to zone around the world. We've got Friday night, as everyone knows, is the start of the Euros. Scotland versus Germany. Germany versus Scotland. Watch the game, get the beers in, finish the game, flick the switch to Channel 5, live and free on Channel 5, and you're gonna get boxing's replica. You've got Germany's finest, the European champion, Abbas Baru, fresh off his win against Sam Eggington. Um, what European champion taking on Macaulay McGowan from Scotland. So, I mean, you can't make it up for a Friday night. What a fantastic running, so amazing night. We've got Lerone Richards returning, mark him for a world title in the next 12 months. Watch this space. You've got Dan Toward, when people talk about people to watch in British boxing, Dan Toward, the man to watch in British boxing. Full fight only on, on Friday night. I'm telling you, this kid is going places and going places very, very fast. Sam Jones, yes, uh, I'm sure you'll have your thing to say about that. But it's a fantastic card, as always on Channel 5. Massive, massive, massive stacked card. Um, and yeah, we're back to back. Next week, we're back. Lyndon Arthur. You know? Lyndon Arthur's back. Um, it, it feels like a bass, um, Lyndon, Josh Kelly. Um, you've got a good crop of fighters that are like one, yeah, there you go, one, two fights away. Yeah, no, it's, it's you know, we're, we've, we've, we've sort of amassed, what are we now, 20, 25 fighters, I'd say, uh, in the UK. Um, Okay, Abbas is not part, wouldn't be part of the, the UK crop, although he, he feels like he's part of the UK crop, the amount he's over yeah. here. He's always got Harlem in Schlepto as well. Um, you know, so it's, it's exciting times, you know, it's very exciting times. And there's those guys, that I think we've got 10 odd fighters in the, in the, in the top, top seven, eight of the world. So, um, yeah, just, uh, just sort of sitting there and, you know, crawling at the bit and obviously Josh Kelly leading the charge you know very very exciting exciting stuff being talked about in the background for him now and I've said that for a while but uh, a long long time it's Keller worth, it's worth the wait trust me and when it comes out you'll be the first to say wow Keller it was worth the wait well I hope so but how many of those crops do become world champion in the next 18 months um, you know, I'm not going to give it the promoter talk. I'll tell you, three of them will fight for the world title. Three of them will fight for the world title. And I'm going to go with two of the three winning the world title. Josh Kelly, one of those? Absolutely. I look forward to this news. Um, when are we going to get it? <laughs> uh, I think a couple of weeks' time, you know. I think within the month of June. Big fight? Barnstormer of a fight. Brilliant fight, brilliant fight. Domestic? Uh, potentially. You're going to try and narrow it down now. You're not going to get anywhere with me on Joe on that one. Is it the same as before? Especially after you told me you were at Liam Gallagher last night. <laughs> so I reckon I'm razor sharp today and you're a bit slower. So you've got no <laughs> chance, mate. Don't even try and narrow it down here. It's Josh Kelly against another man. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, these days you never know, eh? <laughs> Chloe Watson, I just spoke to, obviously, she's fighting on Friday night. Kate Redamska, who's a very tough game girl, but it's no secret that she wants Maisie Rose Courtney in September or October. And uh, that fight will happen, yeah. you know. Um, I know that uh, Nissa is leading the charge on the negotiations with Matchroom on that. I think that'll be our, I don't know, our 30-something head-to-head with Matchroom over the years. I said, I said earlier, I said to someone, in my, our first one was, was Froch Kessler too. But actually it goes back before, I think Eddie had Harrison and we were working with David Hayes. So it goes back even earlier than that. So who's up? I, I, you know what I, I said as well, I don't know. I'd have to tally it up. I mean, 
you know, got those Abraham Paul Smith fights. You've got to tally those points up as well. You've got Abraham Murray. Well, they've been getting a battered a lot recently. Hey, Harrison, we have the pot on the board as well. They have been getting battered a lot. I wouldn't say it was quite that wide with us. It was. It's pretty close. Um, when we talk about Lyndon Arthur, he's coming back next week against Liam Cameron. What a story, Liam Cameron. That is really going to be the narrative of next week, isn't it? Yeah, I think the story of, of, of Liam Cameron, of course, but, but also don't forget Lyndon and, you know, he didn't lose to Bivol. He learned from Bivol, you know, and the question is how much did he learn? You know, there's that sort of super four, I call them, in the, uh, in the light heavies. You've got Lyndon, Boatsy, Yard, Aziz, you know, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting place, the light heavyweights, if you're looking at it from a UK point of view. But Liam Cameron's coming to win. It's going to be a very hot night live on Channel 5 from Bolton. Are they the fights, that domestic scene yeah. for Lyndon? I, after this, we'd definitely like to get one of those made. I think, I think the one... I like any of them. But, Aziz. But, yeah, probably. Probably that's the one that, that's currently looking the most likely to get made. But there's, you, know, you never know. In boxing, it turns quickly. You can't rule out Willie Hutchinson as well now after Willie that Hutchinson. excellent Willie win. Hutchinson. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, he got put him in there as well, of course. But there's others as well. I'm, I'm just talking about the ones that have sort of been around the last three, four years. You know, that at that sort of that level of being talked about. I'm not even talking about talent necessarily, you know. Willie Hutchinson, yeah, absolutely fantastic performance. I heard your interview yesterday with Jim White when uh, Jim was trying to... Did it happen yesterday? I, I think. It. Um, he <laughs> was trying to get like blood out of you about Chris Eubank Jr. Yeah, it's, listen, people have said it and, you know, we're not going to get any spite out of me. Listen, I've, I've been too long in the game. Uh, mate, you know... It's been a great, great time together um, and, you know, all good things come to an end and, you know, we reached uh, an amicable agreement with each other and um, wish him all the best and, and fantastic. Uh, hopefully he gets, uh, some, uh, some, you know, some massive success in the rest of his career. So, you know, we've had so much success and so many ups and downs as, as that, and that's part of sport and it's been, it's been a great time. Um, you know, nothing but love and... Um, all the best. Because people forget you've actually worked with him for longer than you've signed to Wasson. Nine, nine odd years, going back to... Did he come out on a fight in Denmark that we put on or something? I think it was the first one, if I remember correctly. But, 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 but really, the, the ones of note were, were the, obviously the, the fights in the World Boxing Super Series, you know. But the ups and the downs, you know, the highs of sort of... I remember that great night in uh, in Germany against Yildirim. Um, it was like so long ago. It was like a long, long time ago, eh? And, you know, uh, and then, you know, but also the, you know, that even like last year, the, the, the low of, of, of that, of that horrible night against Smith and then the, the high of that great, great night uh, in Smith too. That's sport, you know, ups and downs and, uh, you know, wish him all the best, and I'm sure he'll he'll uh, he'll have uh, he'll have more success. Yeah, look, obviously you delivered him what was going to be one of the biggest fights in British history, and obviously it didn't, it didn't quite, quite happen. happen. Quite happen. You know, I wouldn't say it was quite my fault, but <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, it, it, someone that, will blame you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure someone will. Comments, comments, comments. Um, <laughs> but no, that's 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 uh, that's unfortunately the way some of our sport works. Any regrets there at all? Uh, no, don't do regrets really. Just lessons. Just lessons, just lessons, yeah. Harlem Eubanks here today. Yeah. Um, what is going on with him? I'm, I'm pretty sure we all know what the next fight yeah. is, no? I mean, is, is it happening though? It's gone all quiet on the Western Front. Yeah, I mean, that's going to happen, isn't it? But, you know, it's not announced yet, so, you know. I think it's a great. Uh, listen, I know there's all the talk about. Dalton Smith. I, I, and I, I totally get that, but it's got nothing to do with us. So, so it's, it is what it is, and it's fantastic if it happens. Uh, and it's a good fight for British boxing. Listen, 
British boxing at whatever level, whether it's the British level to you know to world level, even even southern area level, it, it's always great to to have. And I've listened. I've worked in so many different boxing markets around the world, and and it's truly gifted in the UK. It's the only market, the only market where you have those bl blockbusters domestically. You know, and um, and very often for the big names, it's better to fight the dom yeah. domestic names in big nights for your legacy than winning a world title. Um, so that you know, that's that's a, that's a massive fight. You know, um, when you look at Harlem's progression, I think he's probably one of the the most progressive fighters in I want to say the UK. Probably he's made a lot of progress. Yeah, look, he's, I remember the, when he when he first came to to us through the door, and we came uh, with Adam Booth, and we, um, yeah, we, we've worked with with uh, we we were lucky enough to even promoted uh, Seb Eubank, so for us it was you know of course Eubank you know boom, and but he's no he's as a fighter unbelievable progression and and it's such a. Such a good fella as well, such a nice guy, you know. Um, just totally like normal, down to earth guy. Like, yeah, most boxers are. There are some wankers out there, but uh, but no, he's just one of the one of the good ones, you know. KSI versus Amir Khan. KSI versus Amir Khan. I mean, I'd watch it. Would you? I'm sure. Yeah, and I think <laughs> I think millions of others would as well. So it's yeah. not going to happen, though, is it? Um, well, we had discussions and then they went went a bit cold. Um, I don't know if it was a bit early, but you know, August thirty first in Dublin, KSI returns. I mean, you know, it's not hot, is it? It's it's, uh, it's white hot in this scene, and it's um, you know, I've just been over to Dublin for the for the Europa League final. It was, it was great crack over there, but uh, but it's like it's going to be a fun week, isn't misfits, it? When misfits no, arrive. See your face, Joe. You've just recovered from last night's Liam Gallagher concert. You're already oh, thinking about you. Dublin. Temple laughing. Bar. Oh, I'm really gonna have to. Are you sure that Coogan, Coogan's going to allow you over that? He might not see you for I about. Won't come back. I was just about to say you'll, it'll definitely be a two-week trip. You'll have to go the week before the fight week. Um, no, look, last week of August. Uh, but I tell you something, mate. Mate, you want to talk to Coogan because. We've got another destination for you in August, which is even better. <laughs> but it's not I, IB for, is it? Can't tell you. Can't tell you. It's it it, misfits. It, it, it's, it's misfits. I can't tell you where it is, but it's going to be lit. It's far. Oh. Lit. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking my family on holiday in, in July, and August is, uh, is a full misfits month. <laughs> Wow. Uh, it, could it be the two on one that Gas I You know what? I just yeah, said it. You know why? Because I've been hanging around my son, he's 16, yeah, and he keeps on teaching me these new books. There's another one I'm using now is, is Fire. That's oh, Fire, man. That's <laughs> Fire. Have you heard that? Have you, <laughs> yeah, that I have heard that. that. Right? It's like the emoji, isn't it? So. Like the old fella using the young language, you know what I mean? Um, that's, that's okay. Um, is it the two on one thing with Gas but it looks like it, doesn't it? I mean, he, he, went he out, announces he went his own fights. Is that rogue? Is no, that no, he's not, no, no, he's not my fight. He's my business partner. He's the CEO of the company, right? No, it's his decision. He wanted to go to Dublin as well. We had Manchester, London, and Dublin, and he went with uh, he went with with Dublin. You know, this last one. Is there going to be another prime card this year? Well, this one here will look pretty similar to a prime card, but yeah, we've got. If you want to call them pay-per-views, there's uh, that one. There's two. There's three more pay-per-views this year. Excellent. In, in uh, different locations. Is it this mad location? Not sad. How mad is it? How lit uh, it's, is it? It's just going to be. It's just misfits in this location that makes it super cool. It'll be okay. fun. It'll be fun. Okay. You want to take the whole of August off for misfits. Sure, I will. Um, as the misfit of IFL, you can see Joe right now, man, he is buzzing behind his camera. <laughs> I'm sure I will be in August as well. Um, <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be buzzing all the way to Christmas. Gallus <laughs> Allen, thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Tune in Friday night, Channel That's Five, extra time. Straight after Scotland versus Germany in the Euros. Watch the game, get the beers in. 
straight, straight after the final whistle, flick over channel five for a firecracker. It's gonna be fire. <laughs> it's gonna be lit. <laughs> Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.